Montana Congressman, former Secretary of the Interior, Ryan Zinke. Great to see you, Congressman. At every turn through both policy and posture, Joe Biden has destroyed our power and prosperity. And they, he has emboldened, empowered, and enriched nations, not that are just our competitors, but nations that hate us, that really want to wipe us off the face of the earth. It's astonishing. Well, absolutely. On energy alone, you, know, you look at the first couple of years in the Trump administration, we went from 8.3 million barrels a day to 12.5 million barrels a day in the span of just two years. And we became not only energy independent, but we became energy dominant in a lot of areas. And oh, by the way, we lowered overall emissions. Because the fact of the matter is no one does it cleaner better than the U.S. And so when this big push to EV, you know, no one has looked at, at least this administration has not looked at the supply chain. You know, where are the materials coming from? Where are the critical minerals mined? Where's the processing that leads this industry? And oh, by the way, what are you going to do when it's time for disposal? This administration has no ideas about disposal. 90% of the solar cells in this country, when they're past the life cycle, gets dumped into some landfill. And oh, by the way, China? And yeah, 90% of the world's plastic comes from four rivers in China. And what we're doing is we're now supporting the world's largest polluter. This policy of, the, of this administration is nothing short of nuts. Now, Congressman, I got I had the pleasure of serving with you in Congress. Good to chat with you on the on the bottom line here. But uh, tell me about the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, because I'm concerned that they have depleted that. They haven't been filling it back up. Meanwhile, you know, the president is trying to do this pinprick by saying, hey, we're not going to give certain investments into China. But they're not doing enough to actually fill back our reservoirs and to actually make us energy independent. Well, absolutely. I guess depletion is a good term for the Biden administration. I mean, they're depleting our resources uh, in, in, a, in a war in Ukraine without a plan. So we're watching our stockpiles de be depleted. We're watching our, our uranium reserves be depleted by being cast off limits. We're watching depletion on our petroleum reserves. We're watching the depletion on our overall power as a nation and the economy. So I, I think I think you're you're spot on. I think the word of the day is depletion when it comes to the Biden administration, and and the petroleum reserve is just one of many. Congressman, we've seen the government expanding under Sloppy Joe. That's what I call him. From local, state, and federal governments hiring more workers than any other industry to the president only funding projects that push us his agenda further. You say it's in God we trust, not the government. Explain what you mean by that. Well, okay, government. You know, the, the way that our government was set up, the Constitution, our Constitution is a chain around government's neck so the government doesn't become too powerful. And what we're seeing is institutions uh, have no accountability, no control, and they become tyrants. This is exactly the core of our country is in, in the Constitution. So in God we trust is that one, we got to get transparency and trust back to the government uh, and, and a recognition that the Constitution, look, if we can't agree on the Constitution of the United States, there's not much we can agree on. And our founders put it in place, the Constitution is about individual freedoms, it's about us as a, as a people to make sure we hold government at bay. But and what we've seen most recently is weaponization of, of our government. And in many ways, government is acting like yeah. a tyrant. And, and real quickly, through the appropriations process, when you come back out of recess, can you fund the government and starve the beast, cut back the size and scope of government? Well, and this, this is, you know, in a, in a nutshell, what Congress is looking at is only 25 percent of the budget. You know, Congress and our founding fathers were very, very clever. Up front, Article 1, Section 9, no money should be withdrawn from the Treasury unless by consequence of appropriations. So we need to go in and appropriate everything. That's both sides of the books, as you know, Jason. You can't balance on 25 percent of it. And look, government, you don't think government's big? You know, I'm pro-defense, but when the Department of Defense has 800,000 DOD employees, 
That's twice as large as the United States Navy, larger than the Army. I mean, the, that payroll alone, when you add, you know, pension fund, is, is about $200 billion a year. China doesn't have NAFAC. China doesn't have the bureaucracy. We got we to reorganize our defense and, and across the government. I will tell you that's why it's so important to reclaim the White House because whoever it runs the executive branch can just rip it all up. The EPA tailpipe, <laughs> well, you know, tailpipe emissions rules, the new fuel economy standards, the complete re-regulation that's happened in the last two and a half years, gone, gone, gone. But that's well, a year from now, well, Congressman. I could well, I can tell you, the Congress, I would say, we're holding the line where we have to. We're advancing where we can. On investigations, we're a heck of a lot further than we were six months ago. Jordan and Comer, I think, are doing an outstanding job. And a power of the purse, we found the cockpit. We, we, we know where the break <laughs> is, but at least we're Cut able it. to the Cut curb. <laughs> and, and we're not going to get there unless we go back to the Constitution. Jason, love you. Congressman, thank you. Back Congressman at, Zinke. Yeah, back at you, Congressman Ryan Zinke. And speaking of...